right, let's do this. Uh, so I'm going to just show you, uh, you can get gliders in this uh, lock box here. And you're going to need that to kind of travel around uh, some of the parts of the map using the balloon method, which is right here. As you can see me fiddle with it, getting it just right. That's just right. Just, you know, you got to get that pop. But anyways, in that locker, you got gliders. You also need, uh, it's good to have a compass, but there's only gliders here. So if you're visiting the island the first time, grab a glider. Do the jump method here. So you can see you got to get it right. But you, you jump on the pad as the balloon pops up, and it should pop you into the air, as you can see. I'm fiddling with it here as I added it to a pressure plate and it's a little different than the switch method which you'll see here in the future. Now we're just going to kind of fly over this uh, this base here. Well it's not even a base really. It's it's going to be an amusement park kind of thing in the future. That There is an RC track that I was trying to make for RC cars. The problem is with the RC cars is uh, once you leave your world they disconnect and they don't work when you come back so you got to keep constantly recreating RC cars. So I'm not going to show you that now because that hasn't been perfected. Um, but that is a build that I'm working on kind of, you know, when I have ideas for a music part. I'm just going to kind of fly over this uh, snow base here. This is kind of one of my first uh, snow bases. Um, when I first started my build, um, you're going to see it's connected to my uh, main, main original first build here by this long boardwalk, which uh, we're flying by here. We're going to go a little quicker real quick. Um, right, flying right into the garden. Giant, giant field of all kinds of wheat and corn and peppers. Wheat and corn peppers out there. Um, this is like one of the only prefabs I have in this whole world. I have two prefabs actually. This is the other one. Uh, I prefab this barn. This is kind of where I keep my grain and veggies and it's where we do a lot of the, the sewing st stuff, make materials and all that fun stuff. Um, this is kind of my main first build, and so you'll see kind of it's, you know, how janky it is, and as we move through the builds, you'll see how I've kind of gotten a little better at what I'm doing. Um, but this is the main place, this is the main restaurant in this village, uh, so all my food's stored in here uh, for this, this town. Um, dining area on top. Then of course we have a, we have an armory. We have armories, and I think all the builds. Um, that's where I, you keep all the good stuff, and you can also find the compasses in there if you're visiting. Go ahead and grab one. Um, compasses bring up the symbols on the map. It makes it a little easier. You got to have a Dur Burger. So this is the uh, Dur Burger first Dur Burger location that I built. Um, like I said, no prefab here. This is all just from the head. Um, and I'll point out the other prefab when we hit 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 it a little later in the video. Um, anyways, going up here is the main living quarters. Um, this whole base is set up almost like the balloons are holding everything up. It's kind of the, the theme we got going on here. But this is my main first original area. I keep most of my my mats here and everything. But all the little cottages cottages are just a little bit different. Um, Adding a little different style to each one, of course. I'm gonna jump off here. We're gonna go down this boardwalk a little bit because this is where the bar is, and you gotta have a bar uh, for some good nightlife on, Le on your Lego Island. Uh, so this is the bar. I try to throw some detail in here. It's a little got a little surf bar theme. Gotta have music at your bar, so we got this little performance area so we can play some some tunes for everyone. And there's got got to be a back patio to to a good bar. So as you can see, the surfboards outside because you do got kind of this surf uh, theme going on here. This is my uh, main workshop where where all my ideas are thought up and where all, a lot of my mats are stored. Um, it's it's kind of got some Frankenstein pieces in there as we've had some issues in the past and. As you can see, there's lots of lots of wood. It's all wood. That wall's all wood. You got the stone wall over there. Stuff to make fuels and more storage over there. Coming out here to the bus stop. Um, bus travel is uh, 
the faster way of traveling. So I'm going to go ahead and take you over to my airport where I build uh, all my planes. Um, thank the bus driver. Hopefully I remember to thank the bus driver every time in this video. I don't know if I did or not. But this is the airfield. Um, I do come here to build uh, large planes and boats out on the runway. Um, I've kind of got a base for one started over there. Couldn't really see it. This is the main storage area and uh, place where I build everything. And that lighthouse to the left there, that's the only other prefab that I have in this whole town. Uh, this is an automatic farming station. Nifty little invention there to uh, do some quick wheat and uh, vine farming. So yep, the only other prefab here is the lighthouse. Had to build a lighthouse. Why not have a lighthouse, right? So uh, that's kind of, the lighthouse is also the living quarters at this current base. So all the, all the rooms are set up uh, on different floors of the lighthouse, which also has a dock connected to it. And oh, what do you know? There's a boat out on that dock. That was a fun build. Um, boats are fun. I like making lots of boats. I've crashed a lot of boats. I've crashed a lot of planes. There was an aircraft carrier at this base, but I crashed that. Um, its remnants are sitting out in the water, what's left of it. There is a Dur Burger here at this location, because you got to have food. And this is the little garage workshop kind of armory area for this location. As you can see, there's not a whole lot going on here, but I do come back here from time to time, like I said, to build uh, large boats and, and planes. There's a nice flat building surf surface over there which uh, can be hard to come by in some of these places. So uh, let's see, uh, we're going over to number eight. Number eight, uh, welcome to Vegas, right? Now this is the, uh, the fun in the desert. Um, it is a casino that I've built called Daddy's, Daddy's Casino. Now it wasn't easy to make that Daddy's sign with a bunch of lights, as you can tell, it's very janky looking. But we tried. Down here, this is a yacht, flying yacht that I made um, to get around and travel and explore. So if uh, this lady would get out of our way, please go. Thank you. We're going to go in here. This is the main lobby to the casino. You also have your little restaurants inside the casino where people got to get food. So we got the restaurant area, and if you come around, oh, look at that, all the slot machines. And look, I actually found something that somewhat resembles a slot machine, which is kind of cool. Um, the stairwell, that's my first stairwell. Well, it's not the best looking stairwell, but hey, we're, we're getting better. This is the storage room slash armory slash workshop for this location. So it has a full floor just dedicated to, to all my equipment. Going up a level, we go to the living quarters of the hotel casino. And this is all the rooms. Not going to show you all of them, but just kind of an example. I had to put the little red lights above this doorway so I could figure out where the store was. This is the dance club slash bar, which is in the hotel and casino. It's kind of cool with the little skylight. So you can see the, the whole world out there. And you can perform up here. If it doesn't glitch out and I get stuck, oh, what do you know? It glitched out. I got stuck. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, uh, uh. Let's try it again. And then we'll exit. Okay, good. So then outside the bar, you got a little waiting area there. And you go up to the roof and you have your garden and your balloon travel system to get to my... I just I just did this earlier last week um, where we're going now. This is I'm really proud of this. It took uh, many days to complete this one. Let's uh, jump. I tried to create a road, but without turning pieces, really, it's kind of weird making a road. I'm trying to make roads, so we we kind of stopped. We had to stop here, but as you can see, it's a lighted path. I mean, it brings you down to the garage. That's the garage. Ah. Uh, that's a parking lot over there. Does it look like a parking lot? It is. Um, so you have the garage. And this garage is the um, 
Well, this is the material storage and equipment storage for building cars for the racetrack. And you're now entering the bottom of the racetrack here. We are on the track. This is the center of the track. I haven't really fully decided what I'm going to do in the center of the track yet. And I don't know why I just threw that torch right there. I don't know what happened. I forgot to pull this out. This is when I got pissed off and yelled at the dogs because they were just barking like crazy. So uh, bear with me on this uh, few minutes of this video when we're just stuck here looking at these open doors. Anyways, this racetrack, man, this is really, I mean... I still there's still a lot more lighting I have to do because it's that's the difficult part is really lighting up the track and I'd like to put in glowing blue and red lights along the walls you know to kind of make it glow and pop at nighttime. Um, but the most detail I've done on this so far is in the stadium. That's kind of what the last part of this project that I've been working on is detailing the stadium. Um, we're going to go up here, these uh, spiral center staircase here, so we can get up to the stadium. And boom, you got a food court kind of area with uh, displays like you would in a stadium where they have really random statues just of the coolest things for no reason. Um, attractions. Anyways, this is a little outside walkway. And there, there's, there's still things I can do, and you got your main seating. Look at that. That is so cool. Can you imagine the race cars going around the track, and you're sitting in the stands just watching? Got to have concession stands. I haven't built inside of those yet, but there are concession stands there with cash registers. And bathrooms. You got to have bathrooms. A little crowded. I got to figure out better walls for the bathrooms. But um, there's a toilet in there, and that is the woman's room there. Oh, yep, oh. Little lag, little lag. That's the woman's room. And got to have a bar. So the stadium has the very, very nice little tiki bar going on here. Um, and then over here is VIP seating. Those rooms I haven't done yet. These rooms are a little less expensive right there, but it's more VIP seating. Pretty fun stuff. And I think that's kind of the gist of the stadium. Um, so I'm going to take you over to the bus station here, which is, in, oh, of course the dogs have to start barking. Now they'll go tandem back and forth. I don't know if we're going to pick that up in the microphone, but they literally back and forth. It's so fun. So fun. So we're going to, I'm going to take you over to the final build. This is what I've been working on the last, wait, wait. Oh, I haven't taken you here yet. Okay. So this is my, my Zen build. This is kind of like, I would say this is, you know, this is my spot where I just harness my chi and my Zen. So I guess my favorite build is next after this one, but this was my favorite build until my next favorite build. But anyways, we're going to land here on this. Uh, this is a lantern, pretty much a floating lantern above the city. As you see under the water, there's ruins under the water, which makes that kind of cool. Um, we're going to land here, right here on the um, living quarters. And obviously this build is kind of chilling on the ocean. Um, it's got this uh, pool thing inside the, the center of the room, which, as you can see, there's wreckage and sunken treasure down there. This is kind of the pirate uh, pirate city, we'll call it. Uh, got, there's your garden. you got to have your little zen garden, and the zen garden is on top of the living quarters. Great place to be. Great place to be. And jump off, and we have a little communal area, which uh, needs work. It's a little, little thin right now. Hey, there's me. So we'll just do a little dance with me. As you can see, very pirate thing theme, and we are pig farmers. Lots of pigs out there. So this is our main armory. Well, our only armory. This is our armory for this place. Um, yeah, it's like a uh, pretty cool thing. And you can see there's charms and uh, more equipment, uh, parachutes, and uh, I believe compasses in there. Got to have a dock and, and a boat. Boat on the dock. Boat on the dock, and then pig farming. Woohoo! Shut the gate. Boom. Also have my, uh, well, I guess it's a motorhome, an Airbus. I don't know what you want to call it, but good, good for exploring and collecting materials throughout the world. All these pigs and poop everywhere. Got pigs everywhere. Um, this is the main storage where I keep all my materials and my workshop where I do all my material refining 
pretty cool. Boop. And you come over around, around, around here and you got the little restaurant. Very crowded staircase there. Little hole in the wall. Little dump. But it works. And then up top. Oh, that way. Up top, you got the little dining area. Very zen. It's very chill here. Love this place. It's where I'd want to live. Anyways, back to the bus station. And now to the most recent build, which I'm really proud of. I've really been going ham on this the last couple of days. Still a lot of work to be done. Um, we're going to go over to station three. Come on, station three. Three, three. Boom, way off here. As I'm exploring into, you know, further and further away from my base right here. That was the whole exploration for this place as I took my pirate ship. I flew over, I found this location that I liked in the grasslands, and I was like, oh yeah, I got a great idea. I'm building here, it's going to be an epic build, and then from here I plan on extending out further, but um, I stopped here to start building this amazing castle in the middle of the grasslands. And we're going to land here right in front, kind of take it floor by floor, I guess. And I think I put those gates on backwards. We'll have to fix that. And I haven't done anything down here yet except for kill a chicken. So that's good. And coming around here, we got more stuff and more room we can do stuff with. I did put a steps. That's it. Boom. Not looking super exciting yet. Okay. But we're going to go and we're going to shut these gates because they look better on the inside. And we're going to go up through this little tunnel. Which is bringing us into the main part of the castle. There's going to be a little garden in there. I'm hoping for better plants in the next DLC. Hopefully we get viney plants and stuff like that because that's what I want. Now what I didn't notice when I was filming this is this whole wall is missing. Now what happened was when I br bring the pirate ship and parked the pirate ship in this building. I hit the side of the building and I was lagging so hard I couldn't tell that I knocked the wall off. So I have to go through and fix the wall. But this is the workshop area where all the different workshops are. The storage is in there, The main, all the main storage, more workshops. I don't know what this is going to be yet, but it needs a wall again. But that's going to be something. I haven't decided. Figuring out where to go. Ha, it's a maze. Um, up top you got a, a fruit garden. This is only fruit. I do plan on having like wheat somewhere and maybe farm animals. This is a little training area up top. Um, archery, all that fun stuff. And I'm doing kind of like all the soldiers up across the top there, I'm working on that. Um, this is the docking for the uh, flying pirate ship. I'll jump on there so you can just see the flying pirate ship that took out the wall of the castle, which I need to fix. But, you know, this is uh, the, the ship that I've had the longest in this game. Um, a lot of them break very easily in this game um, believe it or not that pirate ship may not all wood is still with us that's gonna be a restaurant up there um, I haven't done, built it yet this is a this is the granary this is granary and wine cellar um, down there for the future that's what I'm working on and uh, going up here we got our main castle is gonna be up here up all them steps. We're going in the back door. And I got I got lots of decorating that I have to do inside the main uh, living quarters of the castle. But you know, you got your main room, the bedroom kind of thing. And then very top of the castle, you can see your whole kingdom, including our flying ship. Oh, it's so beautiful. But like I said, there's lots of things I'm trying to figure out on what's going to be where. Uh, i got a couple buildings to mess with now and uh, obviously some walls to rebuild. Um, one of the coolest uh, parts, if I can not get lost in this maze here. Oh, well, I guess we're not to the cool part yet, but uh, that's uh, this is uh, going to be the main living quarters here. Uh, for you know all the peons peon living quarters 
maybe put a bathroom or something in there. And if we go up, well, I'm so confused. Upstairs, we're going to go up these stairs, and more stairs, and downstairs. And this is where I get confused and lost. I'll make it. Wait, I know I'm in the right spot. No, I'm not. Wait a second. This is not where I'm supposed to be. And I make a full circle again because I'm just like, wait a second. Where was I? I got to look for the cat statue. And then I realize ah, I got to look for the cat statue, right? Oh, there's the cat statue. It's right there. I'm going to jump down here. And this is the catacombs. Got to have catacombs. So this whole castle is built on top of a cave. So the future plan for this build obviously is to build into this cave. I haven't really started that yet, so I kind of placed these walls to kind of show you that's what I'm doing. That's the plan, is to build down into this cave after I farm the cave, because I haven't farmed the cave yet either. I built all the way around the cave, and I haven't even farmed the cave yet. And there's a bunch of caves in this area, so that's kind of why I picked it. Um, but So that's uh, the world tour of my my current build so, so hopefully we'll be able to revisit that after the next uh, jungle dlc coming out, out on september 17th pretty excited for that uh, hopefully we get really cool viney pieces because that's what i'm looking for thanks for watching guys like and subscribe i appreciate it peace and